Ready whenever you are. Online services. Retrieving requested information. The search keyword was not recognized. Please repeat your entry. In and out burger. Retrieving requested information. Please wait. Please enter the line. Number two. And now it'll go and uh, reroute the car to and and, and uh, take us to that and take us to that in and out. I okay. spoke too fast before the beep on the, on the other one, so okay. they didn't hear my voice. But uh, you know, you can pick any category. You can pick categories of restaurants. You can you can say I want to go back to the San Diego Convention Center where we just left. You can say I want to go to a particular hotel or uh -huh. we're in San Diego, so uh, you know. I'd say let's go to the beach, uh, <laughs> and uh, it'll take us to the beach. So it's uh, the voice recognition is incredible, and again, it allows the driver to not be distracted sure. because you're talking to the device instead of sitting here fumbling with buttons. There are buttons that are down there, and they're great to use, but I would suggest using them while you're parked and using Google Voice while you're driving. It's a great system. And because it's streaming so fast over the HSPA network, you're getting real good live information. That's T-Mobile's network. That's T-Mobile's right? network with yeah. a Telet uh, module using uh, Rako's package to put it all together. So wh while it's doing that, you're getting new updated map information. Sure. You know, it's not like your car is six months old and now you don't know where these new roads are. Google's always updating that for you as you're communicating and asking for navigation to any particular area. Cool. All right, thank you.